Okay, this is Lou Depot, and this class is simply learning how to solder pipe. Very simple, very easy. First thing you're going to need is a torch. Right at Home Depot, map gas, and a torch tip, maybe $40. <laughs> or you can have a regular acetylene torch, the torch with the hose and the regulator on it, and, and, and the handle, similar to this, but you know, it's got a hose where you can stretch it. Besides the torch, you're going to need flux, acid flux for soldering. This happens to be utility flux, but any acid flux for soldering. Of course, solder, right in the Home Depot, lead-free solder. And grit cloth to clean the copper. That's the outside of the copper. And an inside two-turn brush to clean the inside of the fitting. And maybe a pair of gloves. And basically what you want to do is clean and flux the copper. You want to clean wherever you're going to be soldering. So we're going to be putting this elbow on the copper. So we're going to be soldering in there. So you want to clean inside the elbow, right inside there with the brush, and the half inch or at least one inch of the tip of the copper. So easy enough with the sandpaper to clean it. You just squeeze it really tight and turn it a few times. And it's got to be shiny like that. And it has to be clean wherever the solder is going to be or it's not going to stick. Same thing with inside the elbow. I'll show you the elbow by holding it on, on the brush. You're going to clean with the brush inside the fitting. So now inside is nice and shiny. Hope you can see that. Also going to flux with the acid flux now, wherever the solder is going to be. So on the outside of where you cleaned, the first half inch has to be fluxed. And on the inside of the elbow has to be fluxed. Now you're going to fit the two pieces together and it's ready for soldering. Now when you heat for soldering, where you put the torch, you're actually going to... This is the elbow. I drew it in large pipe. The, the copper pipe goes in this way, nice and cleaned and already fluxed. So it enters this way and it's inside the hub of the elbow. You want to keep the torch flame at the very back end of the elbow. Of course the solder joint is going to be visible here, but you want, your solder is here. You're going to have your solder touching here, but you want the heat in the back because the solder runs to the heat. So by heating the back of the hub of the elbow, you'll solder and it'll run and fill in all on its own. It's called, called osmosis actually. Same here. You're going to be soldering the other end of the elbow. The, the torch is going to be at the back end. The solder is going to be touching over here, and it's going to run to the heat. You don't put the torch tip at the edge where the soldering is going to be. You don't put it there because the solder will never fill in if it's hot there and cold back here. The solder will never go. So you want the torch tip to the back of the hub so when you solder, it runs in there. It goes to the heat. Okay? And we're going to do a simple demonstration in a second. Although I'm doing half inch, so that torch tip is so big, it's going to envelop the whole half inch elbow. But when you start on a larger pipe, where the torch tip is smaller than the fitting, you go to the back of the fitting. You go way down low or way to the back, and then you start melting the side of there. The side will melt on its own, and it'll pull itself in. Once you heat there and solder there and the solder melts, you're done already. It's that simple. And uh, we're going to solder it in a second.